this league, it's time to open yourself up to darkness and serve the ruinous powers. Hey, hey, everybody. Spoiler Day 12, and boy, did Jagex pull a twist on us today. And let's get right into it. So, Jagex today revealed a brand new relic called Ruinous Powers, and I'll touch on that on slide two, but first, I wanna talk about how Jagex has been really good at keeping a lot of the details secret, and what that actually means for us, even as we get really close to League Launch. League Launch, as I'm recording this, is about 36 hours away. By the time I finish uploading, it's gonna be even closer, but there are some things you wanna keep in mind as we get closer, and what this you know trailer taught us that, hey, we don't even know all the details yet. So I'll talk about that. I'll talk about Runa's powers and the powerful prayers that we're gonna get unlocked from them. I'm also gonna talk about how you're gonna be able to use this relic as kind of a great balancing act. There's some great ways to kind of, you know, you're gonna miss out on a certain few things by choosing certain regions and choosing certain unlocks on your relic choices. So this actually points out a great way to kind of round out your character and balance a few things. Uh, also, Jagex had a good update today on Last Recall and how we're gonna be able to acquire it. Uh, and lastly, they had a new trailer slash guide video where they partner with Solo Mission, and I just wanna touch on that really quick. So let's get into the Jagex secrets. So, Jagex, if you've been watching my videos, uh, I think on day seven at nighttime or in the afternoon, we got a new video that was leaked on Facebook ad showing a bunch of relics, you know, Discord and Reddit, pulled all the, the screenshots and we had pretty much this picture excluding this you know brand new purple relic, right? And all this points out is Jagex has been really good at not telling us everything. And what that really means is that if you even have, have a really definite plan in your mind on what you're gonna do, just there could be some really crazy twists that we find out tomorrow or even hours before the league launch. So just keep that in mind, you know, have like a tentative plan. And if you didn't watch my guide to planning video, that's more of a strategy guide that'll help you make like a, a generic way to kind of approach the league. And that will be way more helpful and resilient to any twist that Jagex pulls on us, right? So just keep that in mind, watch that video. I'll put a link in the below and check it out. It's gonna be really helpful. Cool, so Runa's powers. So for those of you who don't know, when Jagex was revealing Desert Treasure 2, I believe, they were gonna have an alternate prayer book, if you wanna call it. They had like, you know, magic books. So I'm just gonna call them a prayer book. Uh, and those prayers are gonna be unlocked with Desert 2. Uh, and you're gonna be able to have different and slightly more powerful and more, you know, it's a variance of, of the existing prayers that we have today. Um, and I'll talk about some of the details and you'll notice the key differences on the next slide. Uh, but just to point out, Runa's powers is a relic. It's purple just so it matches with the whole like ancient theme. Um, but it is a relic just like any other. Again, we don't know what tier this relic is. Uh, it is gonna be powerful. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna be in the later half, you know, anywhere from tier four to seven. Uh, I'm really not sure. Also, one other thing to keep in mind is we don't know if Jagex has buffed any of these prayers. Now these prayers were tuned for the main game. So they are, they're not super powerful in like the league sense compared to some of the really, really strong relics that we have seen. Um, but Jagex may buff them a little bit more so for leagues. Uh, that said, they are gonna be just flat more multipliers across a lot of things. So let's get into some of those powerful relic uh, prayers. So, uh, pretty much everything that you have in the main game, you know, for example, piety, uh, you have augury, you have rigor, right? You have par more powerful versions, but less defensive versions to those on this prayer book. So, and it also remember that as you get, you know, more attack speed with your combat relics, and as you get, you know, more damage and more buffs, these are simply just going to add to that. It's gonna be additive. So it is gonna be, you know, if magic is a 4% magic damage increase, that is only, that's gonna be 4% more damage because you're gonna be casting your spells faster, it's still gonna be 4% more on each of those hits. So this is pretty much gonna be still at a really strong power level. Just keep in mind, it's, you know, in my opinion, I think it's, you know, a little bit more power than the traditional game. And that's why these prayers didn't actually make it to the mainscape, but it's, you know, probably a par, like some like the medium power level uh, combat relics that we've seen so far. 
So I've highlighted a few here. If you'd like, just pause the screen. Also, I encourage you to check out the wiki where you can see the full list of prayers. Uh, I'm only going to talk about two here that I think are going to be kind of fun combos. Number one is Wrath. If you watched my video where I talked about the Undying Retribution Relic and how you can maybe use, you know, other prayers, Wrath is just that saying like, hey, when you die, you deal some damage to the, the monsters around you. I assume or I'm guessing I'm hoping that this will just be more damage to the area of effect. So you can kind of stack this with Undying Retribution to deal 25% more damage. Uh, I think this is going to be, I think, like, what, 24 damage maximum once you have 99 prayer. But again, it's more damage in the area of effect. You're going to clear, you know, whatever, you know, god generals you're going to be fighting or whatever group area multi-combat you're going to be fighting. Um, also, Metabolize is actually really powerful. Uh, we saw that the spec relic, you're going to be able to eat and spec uh, using, for example, the banknote combo that I mentioned. And if you can eat a Karam bomb, there's a, a tick delay to eating Karam bombs, but this will reduce that by one tick. So pretty much you can just chow through your food with banknote and just keep specking. I think this is actually going to be a really powerful combo. Um, and there might be other prayers that I haven't really analyzed. Uh, definitely go check them out and leave a comment below if you think there are other good combos that I've missed. Cool. So now this relic is actually really good at showing, casing you the balancing. So for example, if you were going melee and you weren't going to unlock Kandrian for piety, then you're going to kind of be missing out on some prayer damage boosts. Or if you're going range and you weren't going to, you know, get Zaya and you weren't going to get Rigor, you're going to miss out on some of that prayer more damage multiplier. Now, I'm not going Zaya, but I can choose this relic and get the more range damage and I can kind of fix it that way. And then I don't even need to worry about getting rigor, right? So if you were on the fence and you're like, well, I don't know if I want this or that, well then this is another option to kind of give you that trade off and balance, right? Also, if you do plan on unlocking this relic, if you saw and you're like, oh, 100%, I definitely want this relic, then definitely don't go for places where you're gonna get other prayer boosts just because you're already gonna have a powerful prayer book here. So you don't need to go to Kandrian just for piety. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. That's a great way of balancing. And this is a kind of a, a same point I wanna share with you guys across all your relics and your region choices. Some regions will give you some gears, but if you can make do with other gears and then find other ways to kind of balance out your character and make sure you just have like a well-rounded character, you're gonna have a really good league experience. If you, for example, you know, you don't pick any relics that boost, uh, I don't know, fishing, for example, right? Then when you're training fishing, even at the 16 times multiplier, it can be very boring in AFK. You're gonna catch some fish, you have to empty your inventory, do whatever you have to do, right? And so you wanna try to kind of, at least this is my strategy, is pick relics that are gonna kind of give me a rounded character that all of my skills and my PVM experiences have a really nice boost to just kind of give me a way more amplified RuneScape experience. Um, and I think this relic is actually just one of the best ways to do that. Now you don't have to go for piety or rigor, you can just unlock this and then you have your prayers um, pretty much at like the top end maxed out. So Jagex decided that they were gonna finally nerf Last Recall just a little bit, and I'm perfectly okay with this because now that we're not sacrificing Last Recall as a relic choice versus other relics, uh, the fact that they're going to nerf Last Recall, I'm perfectly fine with, and it's not even that bad of a nerf. So now Last Recall will have a cooldown starting from six minutes at total level 32 all the way to zero at 1800. Pretty much what this means is that when you're doing those heavy last recall uh, tasks, you're going to want to just wait till you're maxed out. For example, rune crafting, if you don't have banker's notes, then you're just going to want to make sure that you've reached 1800 total levels and that way you can just last recall to the bank and back to the altar uh, nonstop, right? Uh, it's not that much of a nerf, you just want to keep that in mind that it's going to be a lot more powerful later on. Uh, but if, for example, if you're fighting some bosses, even if you're fighting, you know, for example, General Gerardor or any of the other other God of War dungeon bosses, it's going to take you a minute or two to kill them. So if you start killing them at like 1500 total level, you're going to be fine because you're going to have the minute cooldown anyways. So you're going to be able to teleport out and then teleport right back in. And again, it's not really going to impact your gameplay that much. Remember, the relics are super powerful, so you're going to be able to get skills and levels really, really fast. There's a huge XP multiplier, so getting to max is not going to be hard, let alone getting to 1800 total levels. Um, so again, it's a minor nerf in my opinion, and it's perfectly all right. I think it's justifiable because now we don't have to trade off last recall for any other relic choice.
All right, lastly, Solo Mission had a trailer teaser guide video. This is kind of like, you know, Jagex's last kind of social media hoots to kind of get people excited and amped up about leagues. There was one thing I wanted to point out here is in the trailer thumbnail, he did have these two relics. We don't know what they are yet, but they were identified in the Facebook ad before. I'm thinking that maybe Solo Mission thinks that these are two really powerful relics. So just, you know, wait for tomorrow, wait for it right before leagues. Hopefully we'll get to know what this information is. Uh, again, you should probably check out this video if you haven't already. There's some good general tips and just keep that in mind, there's a lot of good content creators that are just giving out really good content. So check out a variety of things. That's what I'm doing. And I'm collecting a bunch of nine notes to kind of set up my own kind of plan. And the best way to do it is just be knowledgeable and learn about it and then that way you can kind of figure out the way you want to play, but you know, use notes and you know, theories that other people have crafted to kind of simplify and make your leagues experience really enjoyable. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you wanna follow along with my updates, give it a subscribe. I'm gonna be doing league videos, I think day one, day two, and some so on, you know, periodic league updates as well. Uh, if you have any feedback or ideas on how to use Runa's powers, leave a comment below. And lastly, if you wanna follow me on Twitch for the live streams for league launch day one and two, uh, definitely give me a follow on Twitch. See ya.